Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival with Lone Debater 7. And today, we are finally going to be checking out the full release version of Empyrean. Came out about a week ago, or well, a little bit more than a week ago now. It's up to version 1.1.6, so they've worked out a little bit of the bugs. But, bottom line, this is what the final version of the game is intended to be. Uh, there's still some bugs and stuff like that left around, and a couple weird scenario type things, so pretty small stuff that'll get fixed over time. That's why they're still updating with bug fixes. Anyway, for this series, um, since we've already kind of covered how to play um, Hard World, that kind of stuff, I kind of just want to dive back in because I haven't played Imperium for months, and like, they've added a bunch of stuff since the last time I've looked at the game. Um, so I'm really excited to explore all that, and I kind of want to use this series to do that. Um, anyway, uh, I want to also make it a little bit easier of a playthrough, so I can, you know, get to the end game a little bit sooner, or at least be able to, like, warp star systems a little bit sooner, because realistically, like, the survival part at the start is more or less a prologue into the actual game with Empyrean now because there's a bunch of things you can do once you have a capital vessel and good start, uh, small vehicles and all those things. So um, we'll, we'll get to that in a future episode when we get there, but I went ahead and customized out the difficulty. So I set all the enemies to hard, just so like when we're taking POIs or Xerax spaces and the raids, they're gonna be difficult. Um, drone presence, base attack, I'm going to leave it normal, so it'll feel like a normal playthrough as far as how often we're getting attacked, but the enemies will be stronger. Uh, crafter speed, I'm going to leave normal as well. I am going to put blueprints up to fast, just because waiting like 8 hours of in-game time in order to get like a ship feels kind of broken to me, so I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Uh, the rest of these I'm going to leave, you know, just in their default state. Auto miner, I set to false, so... The reason why I'm doing this is basically, if you don't set this to false, when you place an auto miner, the deposit will deplete and you have to move them around. I don't want to have to deal with that. It's, uh, it's just like, I'm playing single player, right? So if I had to go around and move all the auto miner cores, once you have like 10 of them, for example, like that's a lot of time, just moving auto miner cores that could be spent doing everything else. So in order to like maximize my ability to gather resources. I'm just going to set this to false. In addition, people that play on multiplayer servers, their server runs continuously, so they're always generating resources, whereas in my instance, being single player, um, it, like I don't constantly generate resources even when the game's closed, right? I have to be in the game, loaded in for the time to tick over, whereas multiplayer servers do not. Um, the server just has to be up, which is typically 24-7, so... Anyway, this is my way of kind of balancing that. Uh, number of deposits I'm putting is plenty, or per deposit I'm putting is rich. That just means when we actually do mine, like it's gonna be worthwhile to mine things that you find as well, not just use auto miners for everything. Uh, next, we've got all your life stats are just set to the basic default stuff. Degregation, I'm gonna keep it default. Progression, I'm gonna set to fast just so we gain levels a little bit quicker just because getting the first like 15 20 levels takes a while so eh, I don't know I guess I did play with Slow on the last playthrough. So maybe we'll just leave that normal. We'll leave that normal nothing on inventory on death So you have to go retrieve your backpack start equipment. I'm gonna to set to hard So apparently that makes it more difficult starting out. But anyway, we're gonna be starting on planet Hecken uh, the seed is all sevens um, easy difficulty, temperate planet, uh, breathable atmosphere, pretty good. Has iron, copper, silicon, and promethium, which is the big one. Uh, it also has gold, which is good. Meteorites, none, but that doesn't really matter. So we're just going to boot into the game. Now that we've gone over all the settings, if you want to play along, uh, just use that seed um, that we started out with at the beginning. Set your difficulty settings to the, be the same as mine and effectively you will have the same playthrough uh, with the exception of you're obviously going to play the game different than I do. So that's why I wanted to cover all the settings just so if you want to play the game and like see if what I'm saying is legit or um, like I don't know if you're like me when you watch people play video games you sometimes are like oh yeah I would go grab that crystal real quick because we're here 
and then the person that's actually playing doesn't go grab the crystal, right? So like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, if you guys decide to play on the seed and are having a good time, be sure to comment down below. Either way, Empyrean's a great game. I'm really excited it went full release, and I'm looking forward to this playthrough with all of you. Um, once we get down on the planet, basically our goal is going to be gather iron, silicon, copper, Maybe, I think maybe like 200, something like that. We'll look at the recipes when we get on the ground. Um, that way we can build a base. I did, before recording this, I went into a creative world and built some new templates to spawn in. So like I have a starter base and a starter ship and stuff like that. That are unlock level. The base is immediate unlock level, I believe. And the ship is like level 3, level 5, something around there. Um, so pretty low. But anyway, we'll, we'll take a look at that when, once we get in. The first load boot, or the first loading of the world takes a while just because it's generating all the world files. But here we are, crash landing. And I am actually gonna try and land up here by all of these artifacts because this stuff should be good to salvage, I think. Actually, I don't know what those rocks are. Those might just be ore bearing. But, let's see. Cool. So, crash land. That's the same every single time you play. Um, unless you do, like, one of the scenario things. But we're gonna... Uh, emergency detected. Cool. And... Doesn't it have a cargo box on it? Maybe it doesn't. Okay. That's fine. Doesn't matter. So we got our survival tool, heater cooler, which is useful starting off. I'm going to put the health pack down here. I'm going to put, or actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to put, or well, the health pack I will, but not the food. We're going to put our medics in the top left. We're going to put our food in the top right, and we're going to get gathering. So the best way to get your early levels is to just run around and uh, pick plants, right? So like when you do this, you get XP. You also get resources that you're gonna want, so yeah, just bear that in mind. Go harvest a bunch of plants when you first land. You'll get your first few levels so you can go in, unlock all the things you want, and you'll be able to set up a base relatively quickly just off of gathering plants alone. Um, I believe you get experience from defeating enemies as well, so like if you go out and gather meat or whatever for food, uh, that will also give you a bunch of XP. If you go do raids, that'll give you XP. So there's a bunch of ways to get your early levels. It just kind of depends on what you want to do uh, starting out. For me, I typically go like pan, uh, gathering plants or mining um, just because it seems to be a little bit easier. You don't have to do combat right off the bat without a weapon. We just hit level two there. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're only like a couple minutes into the game, so not bad. Uh, gathering plants is a viable method. It doesn't scale very well, I will say that. So like after level 5, gathering plants isn't that great. It can be good at gathering like a few hundred XP here or there, but once you need tens of thousands of XP or like 5,000 XP or more, um, you're like gathering plants is not the way to do it so we're gonna go i do want to take a look at the templates real quick and see so sv starter that's later cv starting for it here we go so we need 480 stone dust 4480 silicon 146 iron 134 carpet or copper and 79 carbon substrate so i'm gonna go gather all this and get level five in between uh this and the next episode but guys if you're looking forward to the series enjoy empyrean and enjoy the video be sure to like comment subscribe as always and until next time this has been lone debater 7 and we will see